Okay, so it's getting old. I'm gonna explain Ricky Williams' death. Let's explain it. Oh, no, 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 you don't. Not without Ricky, you're not gonna explain not a damn thing. Hey, I died this week. Pretty crazy. Yeah, that's probably the worst thing I probably ever did to the community. <laughs> to the black community, just my community disowned me. For art? First of all, I wanna apologize to all my family and real friends. My real friends and my real family, I want to apologize to you guys for um, probably scaring the life out of y'all. Probably making y'all pretty mad. And that's just because I know we kind of jumped into this. I was tired of uh, the Rookie Williams thing. Like, it, was getting, it was getting too much. I was tired of the funny shit that they was doing. Uh, I don't want to deal with just keep making freaking jokes about other people when I'm probably worried about my music career. Scuba, on the other hand, is, he's like a mad scientist. We were talking and Scuba said, this new video is great, but you're not going to get the, vision, the look that you want. The look that you want is not going to come out of this unless you were dead. So I said, let's, let's die then. Let's just kill the Rookie Williams image. Let's kill that. We read the 48 Laws of Power. I mean, I read a little bit of it. Scuba has a little bit of information on it already. It was a great idea to me. It was a great idea to me, Scoob. I don't know what people really think. <clears throat> to me, it was a great idea. I stand behind it. I think it was a great idea. We got how many views now? We're at almost 6,000 right now. We touched 6,000 on two, two of them. We touched like, we, we had a good time. No, we didn't touch we like all together. Like in the past two days, we've got 6,000 views on YouTube. In just the past two days? Yeah. It's pretty great. It's fucked up that I had to die, though, to feel like that. I had to die to feel like I was something in my own city. Yeah. The whole time I've been here trying my damnedest to say these words, they didn't listen. I must say that video was great, though. The music video was great. I cannot... The music video is pretty good. You, you, they, they can't be mad at the music video. And a lot of, a lot of the people that were uh, talking shit at first were, you know, they applauded the music video saying it was really good. And they did. They, they loved it. Um, all of you that jumped on the hate rookie thing and uh, the racial thing and even the hood thing. I mean, that's like, that was crazy. We're going to talk stats in this one. Uh, stats are... Up over here. We got more views than you. Way more views. I mean, like, so many more views that I would show pictures, but that's not what Rookie Luciano does. If you want a video from Scuba, get a video from Scuba. If you don't want one, don't get one. Don't tell him. If you don't want a verse, if you don't play my music, I don't care. Don't tell me. I mean, what does that do? Now, this has nothing to do with Scuba at all, what I'm about to say. He has no side on this. He's not biased on this at all. We'll talk about, um, we're not going to say the names because I don't do that. We'll talk about the movie 87, the case 87, yeah. 87, the movie, the CD, the, that. They're lacking a lot. 420 views is not enough. It's not enough to talk king shit. It's not. So, they got abducted by an alien. Abducted. An I thought alien, it was funny. <laughs> an alien abducted them. I thought it was pretty funny. Literally, Lil Wayne came, pulled up, and picked them up and left. I mean, it was a joke, definitely. They were just joking. But they hurt my feelings, so. Um, I thought it was funny, guys. They're supposed to be my friends. You're supposed to be my friends? Supposed to be my homies? I'm supposed to know you? I do know you. I think you fucked up by not knowing me. Uh. Who the fuck did they think they was up against? I'm the best to ever fucking do this. And I'm not the best in the world. I'm the best motherfucker around right now. The last video, they shot in my neighborhood. I'm from Kansas, a real North Shotter. The mixtape, since they want to be talking all this, they're mixtape. What do I really believe? I believe it's a collage of old music put together. The mixtape is a collage of old songs, if you really want to check it, facts. The dude had the same songs three years ago. It costs $50 to get sponsored on that piff. Period. Look at their views, look at their downloads. They're like at 12% of the people that listen to that mixtape downloaded it. I downloaded it. I thought it was okay. He, he likes it. I don't. Let's talk about the 48 Laws of Power. We use um, law number three, which is uh, conceal your intent. The intent was to conquer, and we did that. We concealed it, definitely. Concealed it to the last moment. And thank you to everybody that knew that helped us conceal it. Yeah, there were only a few people that actually knew what was going on, and thank you for not telling everybody. We used the law of... 16. Uh, use absence to increase your respect and honor. I think we did that. I mean... If you respect me for the art that I put out, I did a great job. We did a great job. I mean, you pictured it great. I mean, was it honorable? I don't know. I don't know if it's honorable. I mean, a lot of people probably won't fake their death for it. But they, 
people were not going to listen to this great song. It wasn't rough. It wasn't ghetto. It wasn't, it wasn't, it was well planned out. Law 15 is not killing. That's a fact. Go look in the book. You'll never see the word kill him beside any number of any law. From now on, I want to be recognized as a man, as a key player in this art form that we are all attending in. And kids, they, were, they don't respect you until you're dead. And if you're not dead, they don't care about you. So I died. I died. Do you care now? Did the song touch you? Or did it because the song was made after I died? Really? Like, what was it? I got old heads talking about they're going to do acting now. They're going to do acting about me. Well, here's to all the old heads and all the people who think I'm going to be that target. I will expose you. I will put that light on you from now on. For now, if I see you and you try that, the world will know that I saw you and what happened. From now on, you will not be getting a friendly rookie pass. This is a grown man's game and I'm ready to play as a grown man. All this little brother, I'm not no one's little brother. None of you guys. I don't have a big brother. You're not my big brother. Kind of your big brother. He's not kind of my big brother. And um, the race thing. I don't give a fuck about black, white, orange, yellow, purple, or blue. If the motherfucker ain't green, I can't take it and go buy something with it. Who gives a fuck how he feels or how I feel? It's what we give you. Scuba knows I go to church. I go. Um, does he give a fuck? No, he doesn't give a fuck. Because that has nothing to do with what we do with these cameras, with this music. Personal is personal, business is business. And personally, our business is good. Even if I was a huge fucking racist, which I'm not, I still make good videos. Great videos to me. It's gonna be Ricky Luciano, a boss from now on. Keep it cool, Ricky, just chill out. Y'all the same motherfuckers that's on the internet trying to hate on me, trying to use my name. Forgetting that y'all are nobodies. Y'all are nobodies in the game where y'all can't get recognized and haven't been recognized. And what I'm doing is the biggest thing y'all have ever seen. Yes, I faked my death. But truly, I killed off Ricky Williams. So, take that however you want to take it. We fucking made the news. We did fool the news. That was pretty good. Thank you uh, to DJ uh, Gino. Thanks to Scuba. Thanks to Blake. Man, I know we hurt your feelings, Blake. Thank you. Uh, thanks to my mom. Or Blake. Uh, thanks to Bird, you know. Thanks uh, to all the ratchet motherfuckers in the town. Because you motherfuckers made this possible. I'd say... Like, I'm not, I'm not a, a, ever a nice guy, really, but I sincerely want to apologize to all the people that were, like, they had my back, like, wholeheartedly. That was good, guys. And if and the worst part about this whole thing was, like, because I knew I'd have to tell eventually, like, that we were, it was, it was, an, it was an act, you know? Right. And so that sucks the worst, like, so I don't give a fuck about all the people that are hating, whatever, you know, hate them. Watch my, watch the video, keep watching the video. But all the people that uh, supported me and said, oh, Scoop would never do something like this. Sorry. <laughs> I did. <laughs> yeah. I truly am sorry. And now that I can come back to the internet world, hopefully we can get this shit all all on a new in a new light. Let's do this all the right way from the beginning. Respect me for putting this on the line for Wichita music. We never had a voice and I'm trying to make it where everybody listens. So basically, nobody listened when he was saying shit before. Right? So Using the 48 Laws of Power. Which we did. We recreated his image. We killed his old image off. We recreated his image. Plain and simple. Yeah. That's what we did. And the school you supported it. It was a great idea. We got what we wanted out of it. I hope y'all guys liked the video. I hope y'all liked this video. I hope y'all forgive us. Oh, gosh. I'm out of here. <laughs> Stay tuned.